वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मंदी ताबीरज फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक अल्जेब्राइक एक्सप्रेशंस पार्ट 3 क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई थॉट यू अबाउट द क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 बिफोर टॉकिंग अबाउट द अल्जेब्राइक एक्सप्रेशंस फ्रेंड्स प्लीज लाइक माय वीडियोस एंड शेयर माय वीडियोस लेट्स बिगिन फर्स्ट द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस x स्क्वायर माइनस y स्क्वायर माइनस 1 comma and y square minus 1 minus x square and minus 1 minus x square minus y square. So this is the question. Now I am going to solve this question. First we are going to divide it into the three parts because there are two commas between these expressions. So one is after the minus 1 and another one is after minus x square square. So the first uh, in the first bracket we are going to write the x square minus y square minus 1. So here bracket, open bracket and x square minus y square minus 1. So this is the first part. So the second part will be before writing that the plus or the mathematical operation symbol should be there. If any uh, variable or constants do not having any signs, it is considered as plus. So plus your bracket and another second part is y square minus 1 minus x square. So y square minus 1 minus x square. So this is the second part. So the third part will become plus 1 minus x square minus y square. So plus bracket 1 minus x square minus y square and close bracket. So this is the first way to or first method to solve this problem. We are going to divide it into the parts in the brackets. So the second method is we are going to write it in a way by removing the commas and brackets. So by removing these brackets and also commas, uh, we are going to write this all the expressions like x square minus y square minus 1 plus y square. So here we can call uh, if there is uh, constraints and variables do not have symbols we will call the plus sign. But while doing the sums uh, we should consider plus only. We should if we write only y square. Doubt not tap. Get the solution which you want. Click the question and crop the question which you want and get the video solution in 5 seconds. And homeworks will be there CBSC board, UP, Bihar, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, MP and other state boards. And for class 6 to 12, IIT, G, Mainz and Advanced NEET. And also the subjects Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics and Biology. And it's for class 9 to 12. And also live classes will be there. And also English medium and Hindi medium classes. So trusted by 3 crore plus student. Download now the doubtnet app. Only y square. How we can solve this? So it is wrong now. So the plus sign must be there. If minus is there, minus also must be there. If any variable or any constants having before any mathematical operation, we are going to consider it. So before y square plus is there, before 1 minus is there, so I am considering it. So, y square minus 1 minus x square plus 1 minus x square minus y square. So, this is the way to write in the common way by removing the brackets and commas. Now, we are going to write it in a like terms. Like terms means the variables or constants which are same in all the terms. We are going to write it first. So, here I am going to take x square variable. So, x square. If you want, you can take y square or 1 or uh, any other uh, variables are present in the question, you can take. I am going to take x square. So, here first I am going to write x square, x square terms. 
So there comes containing x square. So x square plus x square is there. So I took x square. And here minus x square is there. So I should write minus x square only. Minus x square. And here minus x square is there. Another one we should write minus x square only. Minus x square. So now any other variables or terms containing this x square term is no terms. So now I am going to take y square. So the term containing y square we, are, we should write now. So minus y square is the minus y square and here plus y square is the plus y square and minus y square. So any other terms are aware is containing y square? No. So, I am going to take the next constant. So, that is 1. So, 1 means here minus 1 is that and minus 1 and plus 1. So, this is the way to write in a like terms. So, now I am going to write it in a common factors. Common factors means the terms are there. So, many terms are there. In those terms, uh, so here x square term is there in that the x square is a common so x square is common and bracket the number constants only we are going to write by leaving the x square x square will be first because it is the constant or common factor here so is equal to x square is a common now so bracket and the x square means if the variable or constant not having any uh, numbers, it is considered as 1. Uh, if minus x square, x square is there, it is considered as minus 1 x square. If it is minus y square or plus y square, it is considered as minus 1 y square and plus 1 y square. So this is the way. So here x square is there means 1 only constants we are going to write 1 here minus x y square means minus 1 here minus x y square minus 1 so here the common factor numbers ends now we are going to take the next uh, term that is containing the common factor here the next term is y square here y square open bracket and minus 1, minus y square means minus 1, plus y square means plus 1, minus y square means minus 1. Bracket means closed up. Now, here minus 1, minus 1, plus 1 is there. In those minus 1, minus 1, plus 1, we are going to write it as a common by removing the brackets. Like as it is, minus 1, minus 1, and plus 1. So, this is the way to write. Now, I am going to solve this. Is equal to x square as it is and here my 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and my 0 minus 1 becomes minus 1 only. So, here minus 1 and minus 1 can be written as minus x square only. By removing 1 also we can write but if you want, uh, if you want it is uh, easy, you can write like that only. So, minus 1 and here y square is there. y square bracket. Minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0. 0 minus 1 becomes minus 1 only. So, while writing in the common factors, it should be minus 1 only. After getting the last answer, it can be only minus y square like that. Okay? So now, minus 1, minus 1, plus 1 is there. Minus 1, minus 1, plus 1. So here, minus into minus becomes plus. So 1 minus 1, 0, 0 plus 1, 1. So it will become minus 1. Here, minus 1 is the answer for it. But we should not put a bracket for it because it is in the last. If it contains any variable, we should put the bracket there. Okay. Now we are getting the last and easy answer is x square into minus 1. So x square into minus 1 becomes minus x square. Or you can write minus 1 x square. Uh, like you can write uh, minus x square or you can write minus 1 x square. I want to write minus x square so I am going to write minus x square only. Now minus x square and y square minus 1 becomes 
consider as one. If we do not write that one, we can write it as only the variable. So if it is that two minus two like that, we should write two only. Because if we write only variable, it will be considered as one, and the answer will be wrong. So we should write if any variable containing uh, two, we should write two or as one. If there is no constant, the one it is considered. So here. Minus x square square. Y square into minus 1 becomes minus y square. Here, minus 1 is there. We should write it as minus 1 as it is. Because it does not contain any variables. So, the answer is minus x square minus y square and minus 1. So, this is the answer for the question. x square minus y square minus 1 and y square minus 1 minus x square and 1 minus x square minus y square. So, this is the answer. So, friends, in the next video, I am going to say the question number 7. So, friends, please like my videos and share my videos. Thank you.